With winter quickly approaching, I think it's about time I started prepping the van for the colder months ahead. This video is sponsored by EcoFlow. Ooh, winter, winter is here. Well, winter isn't here, it's nearly the end of November, but I think it's about time I got the van ready for winter. Now I've been considering for quite some time as to how I'm gonna heat the van in the winter and how I'm gonna cook inside with all the windows and doors shut. I don't really wanna continue using gas because we all know that carbon monoxide is a killer. I don't really wanna go down the diesel heater route unless I have to. So I'm thinking about electricity alternatives. Now EcoFlow have been kind enough to send me their brand new River 2, and I'm really excited to see what this puppy can do. But they've also sent me a 110 watt solar panel as well. But unfortunately, there's been so much rain over the last couple of days, I've not really had a chance to give it a go. So the plan is I'm going to test this just to see if it will cope with my day-to-day -day usage of what I'm going to need it for. Charging my camera batteries, using my laptop, maybe doing a bit of cooking inside with some form of electrical cooker, like a slow cooker. And I just want to see how it deals with that. I've also got a radiator which should work for heating up the van quite nicely. It's a really low wattage, but I just want to see how well it deals with it. Now, for those of you that already know, I already have a leisure battery in here, but there's no inverter. So there's no way of me charging or powering anything stronger than what would essentially come out of a USB or a cigarette lighter. But the River 2 has lots of functions. It has an AC plug socket just here, two USB A's, a USB C, and a DC socket too. Now, one of the biggest problems I have when I'm out camping in my van is keeping all of my camera gear charged. I don't know whether you've realized this, but I've got quite a few cameras. I've got a GoPro, a 360 camera, a drone, a gimbal for my phone, my little point and shoot camera, and, and the camera that I'm, that I'm filming this on now. So normally if I'm just heading out for like a one-nighter, I normally get everything charged the night before and normally my batteries last. But if I want to go a bit more further afield or if I'm going to be out on the road for a couple of days, then I'm going to need to charge my batteries. Now you don't normally get to see this, but this is my monstrosity I made at home so that I could charge everything all at the same time. I'm not sure whether this is going to be able to handle all of this because literally there's like four plugs two USBs all plugged into this. So there's quite a lot on there, but because it's only charging batteries, I think it might be able to do it, but let's give it a go. See now here are just a few batteries that we're gonna try. Battery in, battery in, that GoPro one in there. Plug in the drone. All right, okay. So as you can see, everything's plugged in apart from the extension. That's already charged. Charging, charging, charging. Everything's plugged in. It's drawing so little output, it's not even registering anything. And while that's charging, I'd just like to talk about the sponsor of today's video, EcoFlow. Now I've held off from doing any brand deals on this channel for quite some time. And I've had a lot of people reach out to me and this is the first product that I've been happy to sort of showcase on my video. I think it's very in keeping with what I do. And as a product, so far from what I've used of it, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I will be completely honest in this video, so if there's anything with it that I'm not 100% with, I will tell you. But so far, I'm really impressed. River 2 is the best portable power station under one kilowatt hour. Some of the best features of this power station are it has the fastest recharging speed. It can literally go from 0% to 100% in one hour when plugged into the mains and it comes with a five year warranty. Now there are multiple ways in which you can charge this battery. The quickest is by plugging it into your household electrics. Plug it into your socket at home and it will charge from empty to full in one hour. Another way is by plugging it into a 110 watt solar panel, it will actually charge in three to six hours. You can also plug it into your vehicle, so when you're driving along, car charging, you can get a full charge in three hours. You can also charge it from USB-C charging. If you decide to go down this route, it takes five hours. It has the safest LPF battery, where it has 300 plus cycles. That's like a product life of over 10 years. It's the strongest for reliability, and it has an advanced BMS system. The built-in battery management system regulates to keep it safe, secure, and built to stand the test of time. This portable power station is very affordable, very accessible because of how light it is. The EcoFlow River 2 is the best portable power station under one kilowatt hour. 
It's the perfect solution for your outdoor travel use or even a basic assurance for home backup. Click on the link in the description and get your River 2 for this winter. Okay, so everything seems to be charged. It didn't even make a dent in the charge. So far, so good. Let's see what else we can use it for. I am getting a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna try out the slow cooker. Just see if it works. There you are. Yay! Alright, put the lid on. Right now, the slow cooker might be overkill for just one tin of Irish stew, but it is working. The fan has kicked in on the EcoFlow and this indicator here just lets us know the fan's going. I was actually quite concerned that the fan might be quite loud, but it you can barely hear it. It's almost like white noise. But the way I look at it is if I'm gonna be running a radiator in here overnight and the fan will probably kick in for that. I could sleep through that. That's not too loud. Okay, so I've just turned it up to high and we're now using, it's a 222 watts output now. Battery has gone down by 10%, but to be fair, it has been running for about 15 minutes now, so. Right, so the slow cook has been on for about half an hour. The EcoFlow has gone down to about 74% battery left. So I think that's pretty good considering my food is officially hot. Let me just turn that off. Now the fan should kick off. There we go. So, I mean, obviously if you were cooking more, it would probably take longer, but this is a massive slow cooker out the house. So I think if I had like a smaller one and more sort of contained one, then it would probably have heated up a lot quicker. I think a lot of people use like rice cookers and things, so maybe I should get one of those, but it's worked. Let's try the food. Mm. I love an Irish stew. I mean, I probably could put this into a nice little bowl, but washing up and all that. It tastes better than it looks. Well, I guess now that the sun's gone down, I probably should put this little radiator that I've got to the test. It does say that this is a 650 watt power rating. So it'll be interesting to know if it actually does work with this battery bank. Considering this one's rated to 300 watt, but it does have a boost of 600, so it might do it. Apparently these little radiators are ideal for heating small spaces. So fingers crossed it works. But before that, I'm gonna make the bed, I think. Get all cozy, maybe watch a movie, because I need to sort of test out the USB-C side of, of this battery anyway, just to see how well it charges my laptop. USB-C is plugged in, laptop is charging. All right. Hey, do in Iceland. So after about an hour of watching YouTube, it's barely made a dent in the charge. So I've still got about 71% back. Bearing in mind, if you were sort of using this and traveling around, you could just literally put it in the front seat and, and charge it as you're driving around but I've tried to just see how much I can do just on one charge. And with 71%, I think it's time we took the chill off. I am gonna get ready for bed in a minute, but I'm just gonna plug in the, in the radiator and just see how long it takes to warm up this small space. Because the thing with these oil radiators is they have a thermostat inside them, so as soon as the, the van gets up to a certain temperature, it will just cut off. If my maths is correct, on 71% battery, the EcoFlow River 2 should power this radiator for about 40 minutes. I think, but that's constant using it. So if I have it on tonight, as soon as the temperature drops back down, it should automatically kick back in. So let's give it a go. Oh. Okay, so the fan has kicked in, but I'm gonna cream this all the way up to maximum so that it takes that chill off as quickly as possible. Okay, so it's been running for about about 15 minutes and it's just clicked off to say that, you know, the thermostat's kicked in, so it's set the temperature. The fan stopped on the EcoFlow. So I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna leave it on tonight and it will just kick in as and when it needs to if the temperature drops. 
it's pretty warm in here now, to be fair. So I'm not gonna sleep with a sleeping bag or anything. I'm literally just gonna stay with my duvet and just see how I get on. And I'll update you in the morning just to see if it's worked, if it's lasted the night, if it's kept me warm enough. Bearing in mind, like I said, I didn't start the night with 100% battery after I you know, did all the other things I did with the battery today. So it'd be interesting to see how well it keeps me warm. But on that note, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Have you heard that rain outside? It's a really, really stormy day. Probably more stormy than it was yesterday. I actually slept really well. It warmed up the van pretty well before. Then it kicked in at some point. I don't know what time it was, uh, but it was only, only kicked in for a short period of time. I think it's because the thing with these radiators is they have like a, you know, ambient sort of temperature that keeps the heat. So it literally came on at like, I don't know, two in the morning or something, ran for like two minutes or five minutes or something and then just clicked off. And then I didn't really notice it again, but I think it did come on again, probably in the morning, like really just literally before I woke up. And I've just checked it and it's saying that I've got 17% left. Here's the radiator there and it's off. And that's showing. 17% battery. So yeah, so it, it did the job. Ugh. Miserable, ow, my head, miserable day. So thanks again to Ecofo for sponsoring this video. Because the River 2 is so light, I'd say it's perfect for any sort of small van. If you're going hiking anywhere and you're planning on camping out and you need some power to charge your phone or anything, or you want some lighting, it's probably perfect for that because it weighs so little. It's literally like 3.5 kilos. The River 2 has a capacity of 256 watt hours. It has a 300 watt output, but it also has an X boost setting, which will actually boost it to 600 watt. EcoFlow also have an app as well, which is, comes in really handy when you're using this power station. The only thing I would say is that if it's just gonna be a one-nighter, like what I did tonight, that is perfect and you've got a small van, but if you've got a bigger van and you're gonna be staying away for more than one night, you can charge it when you're moving around, which is absolutely fine, but for longer periods of times, they do have bigger models as well. But other than that, I'll see you next week for, for another camping adventure. Cheers.